In December of 2024, PECDB announced its original listening test, the ranking method with nine variable parameters. Since then, we conducted a blind target curve AB shootout with loudness normalization applied, which according to our listeners sounded the most accurate. And to my surprise in the listening tests, the hi-fi endgame target was the highest scoring target. As a result, I decided to shave my head to signify a rebirth of PECDB and Shar and a new listening test to replace both the ranking method and AB slider. If you go to the PECDB website, you'll see that there are no more toggles for the ranking or AB slider method. Instead, we have one listening test for headphones called Personalized EQ. As a quick demonstration, let's go through a listening test. My headphone is the Odyssey LCD5, so I will select that here and Personalized EQ. Okay, so we'll press play. Yeah, so as you might have heard there, the top of the base range or any of these ranges does not necessarily mean the highest value. The starting value per trial is randomized for each of these sliders and moving in one direction does not necessarily mean it's going to increase or decrease the value in the parameter set. That's also randomized. The reason is that this is meant to be a true blind test and be unbiased so we're able to identify what exactly the listener prefers. And also keep in mind that, you know, let's say you find the ideal treble value according to, you know, the starting ear gain value. If you change the ear gain value, chances are your preferred treble value will also change. So it's a game of cat and mouse and trying to find what exactly you prefer. Sounds pretty good. Next trial. All right, final trial. All right. All right, so according to my listening test here, I preferred a bit more bass um, than the PECTV original target, similar amount of ear gain and quite a bit more treble. Um, the high fan game target is a little bit less treble than this, whether this is due to the song being a little bit dark, I don't know, but um, I really encourage people to also upload their own songs so we're able to get data on that, but um, I mean, definitely in the case of this song, it sounds a lot better than having no EQ. So yeah, definitely per song, this is going to be extremely accurate in terms of finding your preference. Um, I'm gonna assume that there's gonna be quite a bit of variance between different songs in this listening test. Um, with the ranking method previously, um, if a listener were to just input random values, what they would get is the average of the parameter set. But here, that's not the case. We really um, are able to find exactly what listeners prefer. And this is definitely a much more thorough test than what we had previously. So. Yeah, go ahead and try out the new PECDB listening test for headphones and post your results in the PECDB Discord server. I'm really curious to see what you guys get.